Hello there, my name is Paulus and I'm here to present our standard ground control point workflow in Depex Pro software. If you seek how to information about GCP acquisition techniques or how to properly take a set of photos for a 3D reconstruction, check links in video description. For now, let's continue as we already have all photos and ground control points needed for our demonstration. Let's create a new local project. It is as simple as giving it a name, choosing a project directory and selecting a coordinate system. After doing so, click Next. Photo Manager pops up. Now we can add photos to our project. Press Add Photos, select photos you want to add, click Open. Using our Photos at Manager, double check that all photos are well made and relevant to our project, then click OK. Now let's perform 3D reconstruction from the workflow menu, an important step for our standard GCP workflow. Default settings will do, click Start. 3D reconstruction is not technically required to add GCPs, but having it done makes the process much faster. Thus, we recommend adding GCPs after the reconstruction is made if you are using local processing. Now we can import ground control points. PixPro supports TXT, CSV, PXG formats. In our example, we have our control points in a TXT file, which looks like this when opened in a text editor. A GCP text file must be tidy, with clear columns and lines with information divided by the same separation symbols. In our file, the separators are simply spaces. Access the GCP manager from the tools menu. Press Import and select the GCP file. GCP Import pops up. Select the correct coordinate system applicable to the ground control points. In our case, the GCPs are in LKS94 coordinate system. Click OK. Now that the project contains a 3D reconstruction and GCPs, we can start adding projections to our ground control points. Select the first ground control point and click Add GCP. Here we can see a list of photos on the left and a projection window on the right. We already have estimated projections that are going to speed up our workflow. Initial placement of estimated projections vary depending on input data. You may need to add your first projection without any help, but after that, the estimations will be there, and only smaller adjustments will be required to set your projections right. Select the first photo containing the GCP and mark the projection as accurately as possible. Continue the same with other photos. It is recommended to set projections manually in all available photos. If you find projection that is already accurate, just click Approve. When you are done with all projections of the first GCP, click OK. Continue by editing all other ground control points in the same manner. Let's skip forward to the point when we have all projections for all ground control points set and done. We can exit the ground control point manager by pressing Close. Now open the Referencing tab and click Referencing. Select Reference according to Ground Control Points, select all Ground Control Points for the referencing and start the process. After the referencing is complete, the final step is to run the optimization from the workflow menu. Make sure the Use Ground Control Points option is selected and start the process. Reoptimization will increase parse point cloud and camera position quality. Now, the project has absolute positioning and scaling in accordance to ground control points. All layers generated subsequently 
will have the same referencing information as well. Try PixPro Photogrammetry software 14 days for free. For more PixPro news and photogrammetry related topics, check out our blog. You can also follow us on social media. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.